nice pants, dude. And they're not fans. You have got some sweet jeans. I'm watching you, and you've got a bold head. And you've got sweet jeans. Put on your funny seat belts as we're about to blast off to Huber Town <laughs> on our laughter spaceship. <laughs> Whoa, get ready to ride all the way to Funny Town! Woo. Fashion yourself a tiny boat made out of chicken bones so you won't be scared. Sail away into a sea of baby tears. Do you like it here? In Funny Town? Just let it go. Just let it all go. Just let it go. Funny Town? No, do you like it here in Funny Town? It's pretty funny. Um, do you know any jokes? Do you have any, do you have any jokes that you remember? Any jokes you could tell? Maybe light, lighten it up a little bit around here. No one will pick him up. He can't get a ride. So, like... This mushroom walks into a bar, and the bartender says, We don't accept your kind in here at this bar. And the mushroom says, What do you mean? I'm a fun guy. Yeah, I used to think stuff was funny. Everything just a big joke. <laughs> I remember that. When I was a kid. Does that have to be about an Indian? Can it be about a white man? No. They say that laughter is the best medicine. Do you know where I could find a pharmacy open at this hour? <laughs> this is your night. Come and hold me tight. Yes, you are the one. Did you make the bracelet yourself? Oh, no. Be making it. So he's walking along and he finds a cowboy hat laying in the ditch. On a really long drive, um, you know, home and um, across the country, and he keeps seeing these weird billboards across the country, and he keeps seeing these weird billboards that say um, "Sisters of Mercy Whorehouse" next like 25 miles. You know, they're like markers next 20 miles next. 15 miles, and he's like, what is the Sisters of Mercy whorehouse? What is that? Is it like a, like a Catholic whore? Don't say the punchline first. The punchline comes at the last, and then you wait for them to laugh. Sometimes you have to laugh, too, first. This is the 
beginning of the joke. Hold on a sec, I gotta get the rest of the joke. So, a priest, a nun, and a rabbi uh, tripped on a boat in the middle of the ocean. Let the humor in you. Let the laughter come into your soul. Let, let funny heal you. Please. Is there any? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yippee ki yay Get along, little doggies. It's all their misfortune and none of my own. See it getting along, little doggies. It's all your misfortunes and none of my own. So there's this Indian and he's hitchhiking down the road to the rest. You need a cigarette? Yeah. Looks like you need a cigarette. Captain Party needs a smoke from you, Mr. Army. All right. Well, here we go. Do you have any screen plays All right. As well? Open up your pie hole. Thanks. Oh. Hey, film you later. Yeah. So this guy walks into a bar. He turns to the bartender, <coughs> and he's like, "See that bridge down there?" Look out the door, you see that bridge right down the street? He's like, I built that. And the bartender's like, cool, great, right on. And then the guy's like, um, see that skyscraper down the other side of the street? Yeah, I built that too. He's like, but it's not Bob the building builder skyscraper builder, or Bob the bridge builder, it's, you fuck, one, one goat. And then they call you Bob the goat fucker. No, no, it's okay. I, no, it's okay. I'm doing it for comedy. Even if it makes you want to tear your face off. It's okay. It's doing it for comedy. You just tell yourself. Comedy. You touch your friends. You touch their lives. I don't give high fives. I'm a special man. And he decides to put it on it's, and wear it, even though it's a cowboy hat because it's just so fucking hot. He decides to go ahead and put it on. So, um, the, these three pieces of string walk into a bar and they order some drinks and the bartender's like, you get the hell out of this bar. We don't serve pieces of this dirty shit, pieces of string in here. You get the hell out. And they're like, oh, okay. So they leave and they're sad and they go to the back alley and they're like, we really wanted to have some drinks. What are we going to do? And then they start punching each other and smacking each other and rolling around. And... And they get all tangled up, and they're like, well, we look kind of different. Let's try it again. So they go back in. They sit down. They try to order some drinks. And he's bringing them the drinks, and then he's like, hey, don't I know you? And they say, nope. We're afraid not. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha.
Uh, then you say, now it's time to laugh. So that they know. So that they know it's time. Captain party and you feel better already you know that you got to remember to laugh walks back up from the ditch to the road and sure enough whole truckload of cowboys pull over and give him a ride. So he's like, what is it, like a Catholic whorehouse? Like, are they like, are they like, like, nun prostitutes? Like, what do you, does that even mean? Can I have sex with a nun? Can I, I can fuck a nun? That's like, a thing? Is that a thing? And so he just, you know, he got really curious and then... The more desperate for everyone's approval that you get, the more funny you, that you are to them. Right? Alright, y'all. I got a joke for you here. Um, so, how many crankheads does it take to screw in a light bulb? Three. Take three. Um, one to put up a scaffolding all around the light bulb, and one to take apart all of the wiring in the walls around the light bulb, and then one to spray paint the light bulb black, and um, then spray paint the ceiling black and the uh, walls and the windows and the carpet and everything in the whole apartment black. And then they don't have to, have to change the light bulb. That's what it and then also to go underneath the trailer and shoot all the pot out and get rid of the mouth. So, yeah. Anyway, that's how many. Three. So. so I hope you enjoyed my joke. Okay, goodbye. Hi, goodbye. Bye, hi, bye. Have a good day. Goodbye. Get scared, or you can laugh about it. The cowboys say, Shit, we thought you were a fucking cowboy. You're a fucking Indian. I drink paint because I got problems inside. I got problems inside because I drink paint. I drink paint because I got problems inside. I got problems inside because I drink paint. Do you even, do you even, do you, do you even know any jokes? I mean, can you even remember any? You know, got him kind of tight in the pants and he was like, I, I, um, uh, you know, I think I'm going to get off, uh, at the exit and I'm going to check this shit out. I, I got, I got a little money and, you know, uh, it's a long drive. I'm lonely. We'll see what happens. So he gets off at the exit. And he sees this big cathedral y, nunnery, cloistery looking thing with a parking lot. And there's a big sign that says Sisters of Mercy Whorehouse. 
um, welcome. And he's like, well, that's really weird, but there it is, so I'm gonna go up and, you know, check it out, or whatever. And so he's feeling a little bit, a little bit, um, freaked out at, at this point, you know, because he's like, oh, this all looks so churchy, and he doesn't know exactly what to say. And he knocks on the door, and a very stout and, and matronly-looking nun answers the door, and that makes him even more nervous, because he's like, what the, oh, I mean, this is a, this is a church, like, this is a nunnery, what, why, okay, but he's like, there's a sign that says it's a whorehouse, so, you know, so he says, hey, um, Toilet humor, some of the finest. So my friend told me, because I was complaining about having a problem with people not thinking that I was very funny, and they said, "Why don't you just paint your face like a clown?" Then people would laugh at you. So this guy walks into this prostitute. Breathe the humor in. <sighs> Breathe the bad vibes out. <sighs> Breathe the comedy in. <sighs> Breathe all the stress and mayhem out. <sighs> Breathe the laughter in. <laughs> and breathe out all of all of the dead energy and bad ideas that are plaguing your mind. Well, let the humor heal you. But you fuck one goat. Bring talk. Like right here. Go ahead, Indian. Hop in the back. Totally recommended and totally relatable. Captain Party Show Extraordinary. Here's Internet funny, Famous funny, Channel funny. So. Funny time, funny time. Welcome to and to the funny time. <laughs>
to see or follow you right through. Ooh. I have a I have a question. Hi, sorry. Hello. I, I have a question <coughs> for you today. Can you be sexy and funny at the same time? What? Um like do you mean like Steve Bushimi? Or um Who is the other one? Steve Bushimi. Steve Bushimi. Or <laughs> <laughs> the Amazon woman from Third Rock from the Sun. Oh yeah, I can never remember her name. Kurt, Kristen, something. Sup? I got a joke for ya. This family walks into uh, an agent's office and they're like, Hey! We got an act that it can't be beat. It's a family act. It's for everyone. It's great. We want to show it to you. And the, the agent's like, okay, so show me your act. So, the, the, so, the, so there's a mom and a dad and a son and a daughter. And uh, so they got, the, um, they got this ladder. They got this, and uh, they got a bucket. And they got a jar of eels. And they got a funnel. And they all strip down. And the girl lays down, they put down a drop cloth, and they set up the, the ladder next to her, you know. And the little boy climbs up on the ladder, and the little girl, well, she's not little, she's a teenage girl. And she drives, lays on the, she lays on the, the mat, and, uh, and then, and then, and then, um, the dad goes and stands in the corner, you know. And the agent's like, whoa, you know, and he's, he, he, but, he, but he's, but he's too shocked to say anything, you know. And then uh, the mom gets the, the the jar of eels out, and she um, proceeds to stick the funnel in her daughter's butt. And then you know she starts putting popping eels in there. You know she's got about 20 eels, the little ones. And um, you know, and so then meanwhile the son he starts uh, uh, you know relieving himself uh, onto her general face and mouth chest area. You know, while she proceeds to, um, you know, con uh, 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 consume all of, all of the good, and uh, and so then, um, you know, the agent's like, holy shit, this is getting really, where are they going with this, you know? And so finally, the 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 wife gets all the eels, you know, in the little last one poked in there, and she takes the funnel out, and then and then and then um, and then the daughter starts shooting the eels out of her butthole, you know, around the whole stage, and the, and the mom tries to catch him in the container, you know, and then, uh, and then, and then, and then after she catches them, she starts eating them, and meanwhile, the whole time, the father's been in the corner, just kind of jerking off, you know, and then, and then after she, after she eats a couple, they all, they all come forward, and they stand up, and they take a bow, and they say, We call our act, the Aristocrats.
come, come play with me. Oh, won't you say to me, I want you to come, come and don't forget now. <laughs> That's good comedy. You're such a shithead. That's good comedy, baby. <laughs> no. Comedy on it. I got my comedy on you. No, my vagina's so cattail. This is what it's like when my comedy is on you. Your comedy needs to lose some weight. <laughs> Your comedy has a fat ass. Your comedy has a fat ass. Hey, time to party. Your comedy has a fat ass. <laughs> 